And what is your favourite model of bus? Uh, I don't really know. I don't really know the models of bus. All I've got to say is I do like the double deckers. <laughs> We have food here, I think. By the way, this is not a food review. We've not gone to food. This is just a quick box opening, and it's not a review either, and it's not a sponsored video. Uh, this box was just received, so I just thought, why not open it with you guys, see what's in there, even though you're probably not that interested, but uh, we'll open it anyway. Let's give this a cheeky open. Okay, all right, okay, there's a, a wooden spoon here. That's pretty cool. Uh, is this sand? Chilled ingredients for your fridge. What's in here? I feel like I shouldn't open it because it feels powdery. Don't know what this is. I think this is a, a little menu or something, or what, whatever this is. Don't even, don't even know what this is. No idea what that is. Uh, is that ginger? I don't, even, I don't even know. Ginger? Potato? I don't even know what that is. I'm going to put this all in the fridge, by the way. I'm not just going to leave it out for mum to put back. Got some more stuff here. You know, I have the best clients, you know. They're all so interesting. I just absolutely love them all. I think my mum's trying to give me mixed signals because so far it's just vegetables and salad. So uh, I think she's wanting me to turn vegetarian soon. Uh, we did try that, but I only lasted a day. How much shit has she ordered? It's like Gordon Ramsay up in this. And then finally, we've got this mysterious brown bag full of uh, whatever that is. No idea. It's just sauces and vegetables. So uh, I think I'm just going to pop that there. Uh, Q&A. And now time for a Q&A. One sec, I actually got an idea. Might as well try out these crisps while we're doing the Q&A. I recently asked on Instagram uh, for questions. And uh, to be honest with you, most of them are probably... Uh, to do with lighting, which is great. I love lighting related questions. That is what this channel is about lighting not food or anything else uh, And so far right. Okay, so these are kale crisps. I'm sorry if these are yours mom I hope they're not yours. I mean even though you ordered them. Um, oh god. Oh god damn it What on earth is that? Jesus Christ. Is that dried freaking cabbage? Oh, uh, Jesus Christ. Uh, am I going to eat it? I feel like I'm eating cardboard. Uh, that is disgusting. Them crisps tasted like dry cardboard. Oh, God. What was that? Let's start with the Q&A. So, like I said, I got a lot of questions. Uh, thank you so much for all your questions. If you have any more questions, please leave it down below. Oh, Boomtown's releasing a new stage. So, thank you. Honestly, I love when I answer questions. I just love it. It's so fun. Uh, let's do this now and get to the point. Okay, starting with number one. What is your worst and best experience? I don't really have a worst experience, to be honest with you. Uh, I mean, if you want to know a funny experience, I rented some lights out from this company before, and uh, I didn't get lights. Uh, I, for some reason, got dirty washing, and that is true. I'm not going to name any rental companies because I don't want to name and shame, uh, but that is what happened. It wasn't a worst experience or bad. I just laughed. I mean, in your eyes, it might be bad, but I just laughed, basically. And the best experience has probably got to be the Ben Phillips tour in 2017 boomtown shambhala or uh, ollie walker presents genesis what kind of event slash people do you hate working for i like every event to be honest you know i i mean i love my clients i love everyone that books me i love you know all the gigs i do uh so to be honest i find them all fun i don't really hate any of them is it nice being at college rather than school Definitely yes, school was not fun for me and uh, to be honest it, it just wasn't good at all and I'm not saying quit education It just wasn't good for me in my eyes basically uh, But if you enjoy it good for you don't stop you know what I mean How does it feel to be so young but talented? Oh, thank you for that honestly. I don't know if that's a compliment uh, But thank you so much. It sounds very nice uh, But basically uh, being young in the industry it is hard now and again uh, But you know you just got to get on and crack with it uh, you've just got to be yourself and respect other designers because if you don't respect anyone in the industry you're not gonna do well you're not gonna do well at all people will literally tear you limb from limb 
But to be honest with you, the industry is fun, it's great, and uh, but being a young person, it is a bit complicated at times. Uh, and uh, but don't get me wrong, it's fun, and uh, yeah. What? Well, oh, can't answer that question. I'm afraid that is a secret question. Uh, I'm not really allowed to uh, answer that yet. Maybe in the future. You look very excited. Uh, well, I was excited in that picture that I posted on Instagram when I was asking for questions. I was very happy then. Favorite color combination of lighting. But I don't really know. I do like everything, to be honest. All the colours, you know, you know, all the colours, you know, all that stuff. But basically, I like it when, you know, a nice rainbow effect across the rig. Not moving, but a nice rainbow effect. I do like that. I do like that a lot. And usually, odd and even colours, like red and white, uh, maybe yellow and green, or red and green, you know, like odd and even lights, and basically. Are you looking forward to PLS with me? I am very excited. And by the way, everyone, if you don't know what PLS is, it means Pro Light and Sound. Yes, I am going to Pro Light and Sound this year. I'm so excited. I've got my plane booked. I've got my Airbnb booked. I am so excited. I'm going to do a vlog on it as well. Don't get me wrong. How can I go to Pro Light and Sound and not do a vlog? Okay. When I meant by, you know, questions are going to be different at times, this is what I meant. When you have a shower, do you face towards the shower or have your back face towards the shower? To be honest with you, I don't care really. How long is your hair? Well, to be honest, I haven't really thought of measuring it, but uh, I'm not sure. Who, what inspired you to get into lights? I have so many people that have inspired me. I know in the last Q&A, I said I didn't, but uh, I wasn't really thinking at that time. There's tons of people that have inspired me. So let's begin. So if you're watching this video, anyone that's inspired me right now, I'm about to say your name. Honestly, good job. You've done a great job in the industry. So, who's inspired me? So, Rebecca Card. Rebecca Card or Rebecca Hardin. I can't remember her last name. She used to work for Everlights. In the industry, like, you know, a lot of things, you know, can go up and down. And, you know, I, I've... There's been complicated times in this year, and uh, she's helped me so much. And Steve Harvey, so them guys are honestly so incredible. Honestly, I love them both. They're freaking amazing. Also, uh, other people that have inspired me, like Nick Ares, he's a great guy. He's at Beautiful Days. Uh, Christine Jackson's one of my inspirations. He's a great lighting YouTuber. Uh, Tom Edwards from uh, Mandy Lights is a great guy. Tom Campbell as well. So many people inspire me every single day, honestly. Casey Neistat is a great YouTuber as well. He's a great guy. And, uh, you know, he's inspired me to do more YouTube in lights as well, if you know what I mean. He's a great guy. Not met him, sadly, uh, but hopefully soon. <laughs> should meet him. You know, dreams always come true. But a lot of people have inspired me throughout the years. My family members everyone uh apparently my great uncle some more greats and stuff like that called noel howard or noel coward uh, really inspires me and my great uncle peter who was basically one of the first people to walk in the biggest computer in the world is a great guy uh he's getting on now obviously and uh, i brought my quartz to his house once and he just had a little play and it was it was just so good so a lot of people do inspire me how did you get into it well, uh, it all started uh, a couple of years ago now. When I was three, I had torches and instant sticks in the fireplace. I absolutely loved it. I just loved lights. I just loved everything about lights. Uh, even my kitchen light, believe it or not. Then I started officially lighting at six, uh, which I think might be 2009. I know I started in 2009, which is 10 years ago now. That's absolutely mental. I've been doing lighting for 10 years now. Uh, spiral stage lighting has been going on for five years. Spiral stage lighting officially opened in 2014. Uh, so technically, I've been doing it for 10 years now, lighting officially. Uh, but I started officially at six, uh, but torches and incense sticks in the fireplace when I was three. Beautiful times, honestly. I'll never forget them times. I think Moto Moto likes you. No idea who that is, but uh, yeah. What is 10 times 7? 70. It's getting a bit off track now, just to warn you. Discuss 10. What is your favourite colour of the alphabet? You know, I don't understand, to be honest with you. What is your favourite type of train? Don't even know, but let's talk about this a minute, because I used to love trains when I was younger. I had a train set and everything. And what is your favourite model of bus? Uh, I don't really know. I don't really know the models of bus. All I've got to say is I do like the double-deckers. I think that's it for the questions now. Uh, very uh, interesting, got to say. Thank you for that, everyone. 
on this slate. Uh, thank you for the questions. Uh, if you do have any more questions as well, please leave them down below in the comments. And uh, also, if you haven't yet, please subscribe. Subscribe, please. Be part of the journey, be part of everything. Well, not really everything, uh, you know, I don't cover government stuff and Brexit and all that, I'm afraid. Please subscribe and like, that would mean so much. And also, go follow me, uh, Spiral Sales Line, on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. And if you want to follow me, as in, like, you know, sort of my personal slash just me, it's Elliot underscore SSL. Elliot underscore SSL is my Instagram, but make sure you go follow Spiral Sage Lighting on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram, which is Spiral Sage Lighting. Links will be in the description. Thank you for watching this video, and uh, I'll see you next time.